The Maryland National Guard teaches resilience. Resilience in a nutshell is just being able to bounce back in the face of adversity. A lot of people are focused on PTSD, but actually you can experience a positive thing from a negative event that people are not necessarily aware of. In the Army, we are trained to be mentally tough, but are we mentally flexible? We're operating at a high operational tempo. There's a lot of stressors of war or the multiple deployments that are affecting soldiers. And sometimes soldiers who haven't even deployed can't deal with life in general. So these skills help build on the individual, helps with different communication styles. As an NCO, as a leader, uh, both working with uh, subordinates, peers, and supervisors, I think it basically gives you more tools. Classes are held throughout the year, and there are usually 15 to 20 students per class. It's open to E5 and above, officers, warrant officers, and DA civilians. It's a very dynamic class environment. It's unlike any other military training. There's a lot of interaction. Put aside any prejudices you have, either because it's a military course, either because you were buying told to attend a course. Come into it with an open mind. You can't take a class and be a resilient person. If you think of it more as a journey, that you practice these skills throughout life, that this class helps teach that and instill that. This is Army Sergeant Aimi Fujikawa for the Maryland National Guard.